In this video, we're heading down to Pizza Expo where we catch up with Mark Bello of Pizza School NYC. In a previous pizza demo, Mark created a firestorm when he used a machine to press out the dough. In this video, Mark hand shapes the dough. Here's Mark making pizza. Super wet. Super wet. Not, not my, my M.O. Dough. Okay, here we are with Mark Bello. We cornered him and we begged him to make a pizza for us from scratch. So here it is. Here's Mark. I mean, what? What's the technique there? It's, uh, it's the loosey-goosey technique right now that I'm using. I'm using the, just getting the feel for a dough of a much higher hydration than I'm typically accustomed to, but I think I did a respectable job there. What do you think? Yeah. How's that look? Good job. If I don't burn the place down, we'll be okay. So you know Darren and John? Yeah. Am I not supposed to talk to the cameraman? No? No, talk, talk pizza. Talk pizza. Oh, yeah. So... How's that look? Okay, nice. Cool, let me Can you hold that pizza. up? Can you hold that to me? Feel. All right. And you're using a little semolina. I'm using a lot of semolina. A lot of semolina. Yeah, I mean, ideally, I guess we would want to have one of those slotted metal peels, you know? But, right. But my typical thing with the, the doughs we're doing, which are more of like about a 60% hydration, we use wooden peels and we use a dusting assembly. Now, the last time you made a pizza, you used a machine to stretch it. This is totally hand stretched. I am a machine. The Mark Bello Pizza Machine. That's true. Yeah, did you go visit those guys and check it? They're not. They're not actually doing demos in the booth this year. So, I want you to edit this appropriately so that it doesn't show me fumbling with this for five minutes trying to get a nice circle. How's that look? It's what the home pizza guy does. Is it? Not fumbling at all. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what's the? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks funny when you pull out it. No, it is. How, what is it? I don't know. I mean, I would you guess. Just I, measured it. What do you mean? That was more a show thing. I was doing. I would say that's probably ten inches. Okay. Yeah. New York. You're making a New York pie. I mean, I'm gonna do just a cheese and cheese and pepperoni pizza. Exactly. I want to yeah. stretch this a little bigger. But let's see. Yeah. I love and the pepperoni, by the way. Uh, last year, Jenny and I drove, we, we were actually on our way to Kentucky, and on our way out there, we stopped in Columbus and visited uh, Darren and John's facility. It was pretty cool. That's Ezo's sauce. Yeah. All right. Good, good. Okay. So one scoop of sauce. Yeah, it looks like it's, what, it's like four ounce. It wasn't all the way full. But, and we've got, this is a Stanislaus, the uh, Pizzaiolo Authentico. Very nice, ready to go stuff. Okay, a lot of nice technique there. You like that? You know one of my favorite. You know what a spoodle is? Yes. But yeah. For our for our audience, what is a spoodle? A spoodle. It's like it, it is. It is a the hybrid of the words uh, spoon and ladle. So it is a flat-bottomed ladle, uh, and they come in different like one ounce or two ounce, three ounce, four ounce. So you have a pre-measured amount of sauce. You drop it down, and then you spread it out with the flat bottom of the spoodle. Okay. Uh, we're using. Dry mozzarella? Yeah, this is a low moisture. Uh, I think it's a 50 50, so part skim and whole milk. And it, I mean, it looks pretty nice, you can see. It does. Is this the kind of cheese for a New York pot? Um, yeah, well, the, like, the, I guess the sort of what I hear is people think 
East Coast pizza is like part skim and uh, whole milk, like a blend of part skim and whole milk. We personally, we use all whole milk. We like that a little more. All right, so I'm gonna do the supreme pepperoni, which you get that. Really the famous Ezo sausage going on. Pepperoni. Yeah, the cup and char supreme. And it really has a good taste, I have to say. I'm blown away by it. Someone recommended I try it the other day, and I'm glad I did. It's just fantastic. So what's that's their sausage right there. It's like a pre-cooked sliced sausage I would not seen before. So we put it on, and we experimented because whole pieces and the diameter of this, uh, maybe about that. So when it cooks, it curls up like that. And then I tore some pieces to kind of just, I don't know. Putting on a show for it. Oh, there's the there's the sausage. You good? Mm -hmm. Good. Oh, like good. And there, over Mark's shoulder, the famous Jenny Bello. Hi, Jenny. Great. Thanks. Definitely not winning the competition for the world's fastest pizza maker. No. Yeah. Not. This isn't for speed. This is just you know. But this is. This is for, you know, technique. This is to show people how to make pizza. Yeah. All right. What can you, yeah. All right. Going in. Ready? Yeah. Uh, shimmy sham forward. And how long are we going to leave that in there? Uh, exactly until it's done. Okay. Which, with this oven, I feel like they've been cooking in like two minutes. So, managed to not smoke up the joint this time. Oh, wait, that has new meaning. Was that you smoking up the uh, oven here? No, that was not me. That was some stranger just ran into the booth and threw a bunch of semolina in there, and I don't know who it was, but he framed me. <coughs> We're actually sending smoke signals to everybody to let them know to come try my pizza. So. Tell me about the crust. Is that the cornucopia? Well, so I don't I don't even know where this dough is from. That's something that Darren and John, some some they gave. I'm assuming it's from one of the Italian flour companies. So it's a high hydration, like double zero flour, uh, and you know water yeast kind of a deal. Um, in terms of the 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 cornicione, like the, the border on there. I mean, you see, I didn't really force a thicker border because I was gentle with it and because they're on top and let me get in there, give this guy a turn. Uh, I was able to basically, you know, get some nice, like some spring on that crust right there. And I'm a big fan of the char on my pizza. Right. So I like and to so take it. you're looking for the sweet spot too of that oven. All you know, this really is different. electric. So I honestly, I think that I'm, I'm not even sure, is there, do you know what the oven is? The heat, both from the top and the bottom? Yeah. 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 Okay. So you have the heat on the deck, and then the top, there's like an element that almost looks like the, a broiler in an electric oven. All right. Do I have a pan? You got a pan? So I'm going to grab this from you, okay? You can get all printed out. All right. Okay. All right. That looks beautiful. Oh. What do you think? Nice. There we go. Are you taking a picture of me and Albert with the... Uh... Ooh, looking serious. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Any final thoughts on your pizza? Um, I think it looks delicious. I, I will say that um, I've eaten a lot of pizza since I've been at the show. And even though I'm completely stuffed with pizza, I think I can muster the uh, the appetite for one more slice. Looking, I mean, look, I love. So we started using this pepperoni about a year ago, and uh, just love the flavor and love like the characteristic, the cup and char, where you get that nice curl and you get that crisp, you get that kind of caramelization on the edge. It's a beautiful thing. So yeah. And let's just remind people. This yeah. is Ezo sausage and pepperoni. Yeah. And uh, located in. Talk to those guys. Put in, put in a good word for me. Hey, can I bring these to my friends? With me? And the pizza was spectacular. Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you, Jenny. Thanks for sharing your pizza talents. 
If you're interested in a hands-on pizza experience, I recommend you visit Mark and Jenny Bello in New York at their pizza school. I took the class and I look forward to taking it again. Find them online at pizzaschool.com. You can discover incredible pepperoni with Ezzo pepperoni and sausage at Ezzo.com. And Stanislaus makes amazing sauce. You can visit them online at Stanislaus.com. I'll include links to all these resources below this video. While you're here, if you could show a little pizza love and subscribe, pizza on earth, goodwill to all.